Hello and welcome back to Life Up. This is another great day to share another opportunity for you. Um, this video will not be good news for many that seek to enter Canada um, using the work permit route or through the LMRA. But all the same, since it is happening, I need to share that information with you. So stay tuned to the end to get to know what is happening now and the changes that the government has made to this route. This live app, we share information on going abroad, traveling, study, work, visit, whatever, moving from your country to another country. Any information that we hear, we bring it to you specifically on Canada, United States, and sometimes UK and other country. So let's go straight and then see what is happening. So um, that was about two days ago, the government of Canada and gave an announcement that effective 26th of September, um, Canada is going to stop LMIAs in low wage streams. LMIA in low wage streams. So you know, if you have done it before, you've read about it, you know that um, they have high wage stream and then low wage streams, but the government is going to stop it. But it is not a total stop for all um, people coming to Canadian. So let's see how the government stays. So just giving you the information. So this announcement was made on the 26th of August, 2024. So he said, effective September 26, 2024, the government of Canada will implement the following changes to the TFW program. Labor Market Impact Assessment, LMIA. Refusal in high unemployment area. So the government will refuse to process LMIAs in low wage streams for census population metropolitan areas where the unemployment rate is six percent or higher so if your employment that you are looking to get lmi if it's on the low wage stream then your lmia will be refused or it will not be processed but there's an exception so always there's an exception so however exception will be made for jobs in sectors in sectors critical to food security, including primary agriculture, food processing, and fish processing, as well as in construction and healthcare. So there will be exception in those sectors. So that is what you need to know. And then 10% cap on foreign workers. So employers will now be limited to hiring no more than 10% of their total workforce through the TFW program, a further reduction from 20% cap implemented in March 2024. So now employers are obliged to hire 10% foreign workers um, in their um, workforce. So if the employer have 100 persons working for them, only 10 of them could be foreigners or foreign workers the 90 have to be um canadian citizens or permanent residents so that is what you know there's an exception here too exception will apply to the same criteria that i mentioned above so exception so if you're applying for work and then you need lmia you know which type of work to apply for and then target the high wages um, work. And then reduce employment duration. The maximum duration of employment for workers high through the low wage stream will reduce to one year from the previous two year limit. So now instead of giving you a work permit for two years, those who go through the low wage stream, they are now going to give you one year. So that means you only have one year to work hard to find another route or to get somewhere that you can be, to get somewhere that you can be. So these are important information that the government is bringing out. 
So since I promise not to keep the videos long this time, um, this is the information that I'm giving. And then there's something that the government says that I want to read it for you to know. Um, it said, a Minister of Employment, Workforce Development, and of, um, Official Languages, Randy Boitsonot, emphasized the importance of investing in the domestic workforce. This is what he said, uh, quoted. The temporary foreign worker program was designed to address labor market shortage when qualified Canadians were not able to fill those roles. Right now, we know that there are more Canadians qualified to fill open position. The changes we are making today will prioritize Canadian workers and ensure Canadians can trust the program in meeting the need of our economy, said Minister White Sunox. So that is what the minister said. So this is telling um, all foreigners that as time goes on, coming to Canada is going to be hard because they've started cutting short all the routes that we used to come to Canada. So as I, I always say, schooling, education is the best route. So actually you are looking for the um, other avenue to enter Canada, don't forget about school. Because for that one, it's the best route that you can use to enter. So thank you for watching this video. We know this help. If you have any question, please don't forget to send me a message or put in the comment section i will try my best to go into details of everything that i've said to you and i hope you subscribe to this channel if you have not and then there are many videos that i've made previously that may be of importance to you share this to your friends and others that will need this important message we will help you travel abroad so we will give you all the news all the information that we get there are still routes that you can use to travel into any country that you want. You just have to read more, watch more videos, and then ask questions. So thank you. See you next time. Bye.